Hey everybody, it's Megan from Two Feet First, and in today's video, I'm bringing you a DIY project. I'm building a DIY chandelier for a modern dining room. So if you're interested in seeing this project, keep watching. First thing first, electricity can be a scary thing if you don't know what you're doing. So consult an electrician or licensed professional for help with building or installing this light fixture. If you are familiar with how to wire electrical, this will be a quick, easy project. If you're not familiar with wiring, don't worry, it's still not a difficult project, but I would recommend you doing some research on how to wire before continuing. The chandelier was inspired by the build your own five light chandelier at West Elm with a cost of about $255 to buy. And because you're probably now wondering, this DIY chandelier cost me about $110 to make, and I would say that's a pretty good savings. But let's get started on this project. Supplies needed for this project are five porcelain light sockets with 24 inch wire, five lamp socket cups, one inch threaded hollow nipple, hex nut, one inch washer, slip star lock washer, and straight cylinder coupling, five three inch pipe, five straight arm backs, a cluster body with a slotted plug, five inch round canopy, four feet of wire, 10 inch pipe, and 14 inch pipe. I link to all the supplies in the description below. Start by unwinding the porcelain light socket wire. Take the three inch pipe and feed the wires through the pipe. Unscrew the screw on the light socket to allow you to thread the pipe into the socket. Tighten the pipe and onto the socket, then retighten the screw on the light socket. Next, take the socket cup and feed it through the wire until it rests on top of the light socket so that it hides the white porcelain. Take a straight arm back and feed the wire through the holes of this fitting. Tighten the fitting onto the three inch pipe. You will notice that the wires will start to twist around inside the fitting. Next, take the 10 inch pipe and thread the wire through this pipe. Secure the pipe to the last fitting. Complete this step until you have five other arms for the light. To attach the arms together, you will use the cluster body. Start by detaching the bottom and top of the cluster body by unscrewing the pieces. Take one arm and feed the wire of this arm through one of the side holes of the cluster body. Attach the arm to the body by threading the pipe to the body. Continue attaching the arms to the cluster body the same way. After all the arms are attached, tighten the arms until everything is level if placed on a flat surface. Then flip the light upside down to screw on the slotted plug to hide the opening at the bottom of the body. With 
With the light sitting on a flat surface, you can start wiring the wires together. I'm not going to give you a complete walkthrough of exactly how to wire the pieces together, but Grand Lamp Brass does have a video sharing how to do this. But to give you the basics, I wired all the black wires plus the extra black wire together, secured them with a wire cap. Then I wired all the white wires plus the extra wire together, securing them with a wire cap again. Now feed the newly added black and white wires through the top of the cluster body and tighten the top to the body. Next, take the 14 inch pipe and feed the wires through the pipe. Attach the pipe to the body. To assemble the canopy of the light, take the one inch nipple and straight cylinder coupling. Thread the nipple through the coupling until it is threaded halfway through the coupling. Feed these through the wires and attach to the 14 inch pipe. Next, feed the canopy through the wires until it is sitting on the nipple. Then feed the one inch washer, slip star lock washer, and hex head nut onto the wires. Make sure you are feeding them in that order. Tighten the hex nut onto the nipple with your hand, then slightly tighten with pliers. Now you're ready to install the light fixture to the ceiling. Thanks for joining me for today's project. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you want to check out some more projects before you leave, there is a playlist queued up to the side that I think you'll love. If you're not subscribed already, I would love to have you as part of this community. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified of my future videos. And I'll be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here and I'll see you soon.